today i want to share a very personal update after 6 years of a full stack developer and riding those 5 years as a month stack developer i have decided to move away from node js so i would be jumping into some new tech uh, not a new tech maybe a old and new at the same time i have decided to dive into golang and java let me share some insights what i learned throughout the uh, throughout this and why does this move feel right for me first the javascript has been very incredible journey for me the language is dynamic it's uh, flexible and has been fostered with the most innovative ecosystems out there but here are the challenges just which i found the first challenge is was the ecosystem overload what i mean by that is that there's every day a new framework coming in and now it feels like javascript is not just a javascript anymore it's more of what framework you use and what ecosystem are you going for second there is like quick updates so it's good i want to be on a cutting edge but also at the same time if i'm building a product i don't want a language or a particular framework having an update so fast that it breaks the basic need or basic function that was already there then we have asynchronous complexity since node js being a single threaded process it makes little harder for to build a software or a application that will require a huge amount of com- uh, computations and on top of that the job market reality is that it's hard to get hired is hard to get hired because there are like lot of people who are learning mon stack through youtube videos or some quick tutorials it's very easy for them to just go ahead and learn node js and come into this field in a meanwhile i've seen that java since it's an enterprise language it's been a very old language it does have a good amount of stability around and also with some of the job posts which i saw they were moving from java to golang so hence my decision to go with golang and java is there so just a quick update or a quick note why golang basically it's not just about the job market in past few weeks i have been trying multiple languages i started with uh, rust i loved it no problem with that the borrower system is good but it's kind of complicated once you get into the nitty and gritty of it it's very it's get complicated very easily but once you solve that it's good but at the same time the requirement the job market is not that very stable at least for the indian continent oh uh, sorry not continent for the country as a india as a country second i've decided to i've tried golang a year a year back it is simple it doesn't have a lot of things to take care of um it has very few of the uh, features that you want to learn and also very set rules of way you can learn it you don't have to worry about going there and finding a lot of ton of frameworks that you want to be rely on Uh, it has built in concurrency through go routines and it can handle the concurrent tasks very straightforward at the same time the syntax is very clear and you can just know what you're doing and the vs code hints are really good for you to help us and for java the first thing is the enterprise reliability java is one of the uh, most widely used enterprise language even c sharp is one of those but i for some reason i don't like c sharp it's a, it has a major ecosystem and very common tool that you want to learn for building an apis would be uh, spring boot there are like java and spring boot spring boot you don't have to go just like node js where you have to worry about if you want to use express you want to use nest js or you want to use something like sales uh, koa happy that is like ton of those but for java for every job requirement you will see it's java with spring boot then it's strong type i mean golang and java both are uh, statically typed languages but at the same time java is old and again i want to be able to work on a large scale ecosystem where mostly java is being still used and if you look at a job posting java has the highest number of jobs available at the time so just 
don't get me wrong i still love javascript and i would still be making a content on javascript i will not be moving away from front end that easily i will still be working with react and next js and also for the back end i want to just move on to something much more a uh, feasible solution than being a uh, node js the i've been trying a uh, go line for few of the f- uh, projects that i've been working on the side which i would reveal in a week or so but for now my goal is to learn go lang and java so that i can make a uh, relevant uh, impact in the industry right now and i don't have to worry about if the next update is going to break my whole break my app or not so looking ahead uh, what will i be releasing on this particular channel would be a go lang deep dives a java for enterprise and also some javascript content mostly related to the front end and uh, doms i would say that the text ke- the tech landscape is really wide and it's always going to be evolving sometimes i find very comfort being uh, in a node js but i want to start moving ahead and start looking for more opportunities and have fresh pers- fresh perspective for go lang and java thank you very much and until next time happy coding